Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to get the selected drop-down list value or a label in a React.js component. And here we got the final output. Let's select the country. Let's select the USA. See here we got USA, Japan, India. Uh, let's get the selected value of the country. I'm selecting Australia is 3, Japan 4, India 1. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous ReactJS tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. So let's continue the today's tutorial to fetch or to get the selected drop down list value or a label. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a ReactJS application. And the ReactJS application name is a first iPhone app and I have created this React application in React iPhone examples folder. App.js which is our React.js default component. Now let's add one new component in our project source folder. I click the source folder, new file. The file name is countryddl.js. And here we got our component, countryddl. In React.js, we can create two kinds of components. One is a class component and another one is a functional component. Here I'm using functional component. But before that, first we need to import the React class. Import React or is capital here from the class I'm installing, importing from the React library. After that, I'm declaring one function. The function is a country country DDL. Now inside this function, I'm declaring one variable to create an array which is a country list is equals to curly bracket, a semicolon. Now between these curly brackets, I'm defining a value 1, comma, and the label of the country is India, comma, let's and another country name the second country name is USA Australia Japan here we don't require in common after that this function return I'm adding one root element in this function. Inside this div element, I want to display the drop down list. In React.js, we use select element, but before that, we need to install the React iPhone select library. So, first, let's install that library. Go to view, terminal, and here we got our terminal, which is nothing but a PowerShell. And notice the path is d colon react examples which is our folder name now inside this folder i have created this first iphone app react.js application so first let's add our application name to this path then let's install the react select npm budget package manager install react iphone select So here the React Select library is installing into our project. And the update one package, the React iPhone Select, the version 3.1.1 is installed successfully into our project. Now let's install that one. Import select from React Select which is our library we have just installed then in the select 
S is capital here. Make sure S is capital because we have used S here. Colon options is equals to let's bind our array country list into our select element. Into our country list. That's it. Now the final step in this component we need to export default our function name our function name which is a country ddl call that's it let's save this file now to run this component on the browser we need to configure our component in this index.js file open that index.js file if you notice in the index.js file it's rendering our default component which is the app.js now i want to render my component so first let's import my component name is country dtl from let's add the path the country dtl after that i can able to render my component on the browser which is a country ddl that's it let's save this file now to run the application in our terminal there is a command called npm start nudget package manager start enter and here we got the output see so here india usa australia and japan now my next target is when a user select any particular country name for example india i want to display that india the selected country name on this browser in a label so let's do that one also for that i'm using the hooks use select hook i'm using use select so use state sorry not select use state i'm using now come here first let's add a handler so ddl handler is equals to e the handler what are the users select the country names get the country name first then i want to store in a variable that variable i want to display so here i'm adding ddl value is equals to ddl value e dot label label call now this ddl value here i'm adding one more variable is an array result result is an object i want to display on the browser and this ddl value i have selected is equals to use state is a method the selected value we are getting from this country list dot label the label is nothing but our country names column that's it let's save this file save all result is assigned oops we forgot to display the output after the div i'm adding one h1 tag let's put this in the center The result between curly brackets which is our output that's it now let's save this file save all again we got an handler warning here we forgot to add an event on change is equals to between curly brackets 
let's add our handler name sorry for that that's it i hope now it's worked perfectly compiled successfully let's check the output i'm reloading the browser and here we got the final output let's select the country let's select the us see here we got usa japan india now i want to display the value of this country is instead of label come to the name and adding value here save this file save all i'm reloading the browser now let's get the selected value of the country if i get select usa we got three here two if i select japan it's one one is japan oops something went wrong see here i forgot to change these values three this one and this is a four Save this file, save all. Now let's check the final output. Now let's get the selected value of the country. I'm selecting Australia is 3, Japan 4, India 1. That's it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.